All right, Grand Rising, we're back, and we're going to be talking about the principles, not in individuals, under discussion. <clears throat> and um, again, take it how you want. Um, take the babies out the bath water, whatever you want to do. Again, this is not your mama's Bible study, okay? Um, <clears throat> because we know that his story lies. And um, we're going to go ahead and just read this right here, because again, I see some things that are seen in these times that, again, when, when I feel like there's something going on in the wor world, um, again, since we're supposed to be focusing on his word or the word, um, that is what shows me the way. So you can imagine out of the Bible how many verses and chapters and pages um, within that 24 hour period, I will find some type of material, whether it is the Bible or another book. Um, when I'm asking source, what are you really trying to tell me? And I can't put it all together. Something will come up that will start to show the way. So again, when people come, come with gossip and they come with all these other ways and the way that man thinks and what he thinks that really doesn't matter to me. Um, I go into the word to go ahead and, uh, speak the truth. Okay, and bring balance to the situation. Because again, I know that we are um, the ones we have been waiting for. And the Bible is talking about us and it is also talking about our ancestors in a sense. So everybody has a part to play. This just happens to be mine. It's not the funnest part to play. But again, now that I'm realizing that, you know, and again, I, I feel like, you know, I'm put in a situation where it's just like, you know, I, I can try to feel something out. But when things seem too chaotic, you know, because, um, again, I don't believe that God is the um, author of, of confusion. So if, again, whatever you do is confusing or if I'm just, you know, then, again, I will have to walk away from that sense, uh, in a sense. And, again, a lot of things that I feel like have happened have been chaotic where everything has been intertwined. So I really can't detect and I really can't. Um, there's a place that I can go in my head. Right. And that's where I'm feeling like we're communing with ancestors, guides, um, uh, angels and other energies. There's a place I go in my soul. That place is preserved for source. That's it. That's all. You know what? Sometimes I think it's not even preserved for my own self unless I'm looking at myself as being a counterpart um, or a consort of source. Or the Elohim. So. We're going to go ahead and read this and see what we can see here. Okay. And it says, all Christian people credit the book of Revelations to our Lord as St. John does in Revelations 1 and 1. Therefore, we are not responsible for the symbolism used in this book. There are so many ways in which one might be misunderstood, even by good Christian people. And again, I'm not a Christian. I don't call myself a religion at all. I'm someone that studies the word and has a connection with source. So that we naturally feel a delicacy about expressing our views as we proceed to set forth our understanding of the symbols of the revelations we wish to state most empathetically um, that we are um, saying nothing whatever against godly Christians anywhere at any time, whether in any church or any of any church. Uh, we have nothing to say respecting people. So again, in, in my eyes, I kind of see where it's coming from, from here. Because my thing, even when I'm talking about something, you feel like I'm talking directly about a person. It's really not the person. If you really look and unmask what I'm saying, it's about whatever the covering is of that person, that nation, that group, that corporation, that entity, that energy. Right? So it's, it's the, the key things, the symbol, symbolic things that are shown that match up with what we're talking about in the scripture even when it comes to myself, and I may not like it, right? So it's symbolic, thing, like signs and symbols do run the world. And if you're not incorporating that into your studies, then it, I don't even see why there's even no reason to have a Bible study. So again, when we're talking about some things, I can be talking, you know, cool and friendly and everything like this. But then when it gets down to business and we get to this word, it's going to be coming across how it's going to come across because it's just coming in direct, Okay. So ain't no time for me to pussyfoot around. Ain't no time for me to give you one verse and sit there and talk to you about that one verse for no two hours. You know what I'm saying? We're going in. <clears throat> and we're going to use, again, because uh, man should not live on uh, bread alone, right? But every word that proceedeth from 
Mm, I don't know. I can't remember which uh, term was placed there and I don't want to mess it up. So again, it's just meaning that in these times, there are going to be extra pieces that are going to be added to it. The, the leavened bread, you can probably look at it as, right? So again, it's been stale. It's been unleavened for a very long time, but now it's kind of fluffed up like mother earth and these uh, feminine energies have been messing with the dough and fluffing it up. And so again, and using their internal power or being that conductor of that light, that source of light that is spewing through us at this time um, is the additive, right? A connection between uh, source and the virgins in a sense, right? The real Elohim source, right? And the virgins. And again, it's going to be a nurturing and caring. They may be tried a little bit, but in the end, it's going to be a nurturing something. It's going to be a two-way street. It's not going to be a one-way street. So again, she's not going to continue to be tried and tried and tried and tried for no reason because of selfish reasons or because you want to play around or play the field. It's going to be that way. And then at some point in time when she sees what's going on, then she's going to remove herself from that situation and go back to life as it was scheduled. So we're getting back to business over here, okay? And people are going to see that as a form of slight or a form of this. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a form of me seeing what the hell is going on. And so we're going to go ahead and, and stop wasting our time and conducting our time in that manner or that fashion. And we're going to get back to business. Because again, I feel like even now more than ever, I've been prepared and went through the furnace. And now we're at the point where, um, you know, um, it's, it's getting down to business, right? So again, you know, I've run across a channel of a young lady on here that, you know, she, I really liked the way that she uh, uh, conducts her message. Um, you know, it, it, it's really almost like it, it, it really uh, speaks to me in a sense, you know, and, uh, you know, I appreciate people that's uh, speaking um, in this, in this fashion, because it, you know, it helps me reevaluate and evaluate myself in the way you know, I'm conducting myself because again, I know a lot of people think that I sit on some kind of pedestal and I look down and I'm like a dictator or something like that. But, you know, when it comes to what's real and important and I need to deliver a message the way that it needs to be delivered, it's not me that that's I'm in another energy. So it's not even me that we talking to at that point in time. So if I feel like I'm, I'm fed up, that means that source through me is fed up. So again, it, I mean, or the ancestors or whatever, it means that it's a time for no nonsense, right? Because simply people are taking it as a joke. So when I have a smile on my face too much, it's taken as a joke. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's at, it's at that point in time where it's like a, um, a highbrow moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So especially when it comes to things that I feel like are just very serious that we need to be looking into because I feel like we have been, you know, rocked to sleep or cradled to sleep at this moment. And so again, it's time to go ahead and, you know, get back to business. Okay, so, um, but yeah, it's just like, you know, if I see that you're just like a, a good person and you really got a message and even if it kind of like hurt my feelings because somebody's message tore through me the other day, but I, it had me stop. It stopped and, and, I, and I was new to her channel and her platform and she's really pretty harsh. You know, it's not just all that sweet talk, you know, <laughs> she give it to, you know, folks how it is. And so, again, I like that type. I like I'm someone that it is drawn to constructive criticism because it will put me in a mode where I'm like, hold on. What is you doing? Is that what you're doing? Do you do that? Oh, damn, you do. You know, so it's just kind of like that. Right. <clears throat> so. Because um, I know I deal a lot with self. I, I go within for many things. And, I, and again, when it's time, when, when it's time to play, it's time to play. But when it's time to be serious, it's time to get, you know, get to work. So. Again, the only thing I really take seriously in my life right now is the word, you know, and that may be a disappointment to some people, but again, it just is what I am. I feel like I'm this vessel of information, just like a lot of other people out there. And it's just that, you know, like that's just my job. It doesn't have to come with pay, but it pays me generously. So again, <laughs> um, all right. So, so many ways in which we might be misunderstood, even by good Christian people, that we are naturally feel a delicacy about expressing our views as we proceed to set forth our understanding of the symbols of revelation we wish to 